Gear there, ladies and gents, and welcome to Cold Waters. Yes, I've been getting a lot of requests for this game, so here it is. Cold Waters is a Cold War era submarine simulation. It's got two primary eras it operates in, one in the late 1960s and one in the early 1980s. And the whole game revolves around the idea of what would have happened if the Cold War went hot. So in this mission I am hunting a Typhoon class ballistic missile submarine which is under escort and at the moment you can hear I'm already being pinged. Um, yeah I've misclassified the Charlie... no it's not a Charlie. What is it? another contact. Um, yeah, we're hunting a Typhoon class ballistic missile submarine. It has an escort. I'm getting pinged by multiple submarines at the moment. I suspect the Typhoon is Sonar Contact 2, which is furthest away. Now I'm going to turn in on Charlie 2 here. It looks like my closest contact. Uh, it is not a Charlie class. When I designated I realised, but I'm a little busy. Set torpedo tubes 1 and 3 to active pinging. I have a sneaking suspicion when I let these off I'm going to be dodging torpedoes so I want to make sure that they're capable of tracking on their own and I'll have to deal with what happens after that when it happens. Now obviously we're in the Arctic Sea at the moment we are underneath the ice caps or the, uh, the ice sheet as it is. Now I'm still running silent here at the moment, mainly because even though I am actively being pinged, there are no torpedoes in the water just yet. So it's possible because this section of the ocean is so shallow and there is an ice sheet across the surface that the submarines that are hunting me at the moment are getting reflections. They're not entirely sure where I am. If I go to active sonar and come out of silent running, power up the engines to flank, they're going to know exactly where I am. And for the moment, I want to close in a little bit more and set myself up to engage before I give them that little piece of information. If at all, if I can engage them without going active, that would be so much the better. Now I'm just looking at my depth at the moment, I'm about halfway between the bottom and the thermal la torpedo launched, okay. Tube 1 away, and we'll send tube 3 as well on auto guidance. Right, no point keeping quiet now, flank speed. Uh, set tubes 2 and 4 to active guidance just in case we need a second set of torps in the water. Now it looks like S1 is turning south. Still don't... There it is. Alright, yeah, it wasn't a Charlie 2, it's a Sierra. Uh, Sierra class submarine is an early 1980 Soviet design. I think they only built a handful of them. It was the upgraded and replacement for the Alpha class, as I recall. It looks like it's cavitating. It's going to flank speed. My torps are still running low. He comes there. So we'll drop it down. dodge the torpedo, it's over the top. Now I want to continue turning in on it, I want to get into the baffles of the torpedo. Its secret head can only see in front of it for a small range, so if I can get in behind it, it won't be able to detect me right away. The second torp is away from Sierra 1, and it looks like one of my torpedoes is actively tracking, and boom. Explosion on the surface. what that was. And it looks like Sierra 1's torpedo is not tracking me. My torpedo's not coming back, but the torpedo from Sierra 1 has acquired the wreck of the, the Sierra class. And it hit its 
itself with its own torpedo. Beautiful. Um, okay, so what are you doing? You look like you're turning back. Please don't turn back. No, 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 it's turning the other way. Okay, it's in tracking. And my second torpedo, the second of... Was that mine? No, I think that's the second torpedo from the Sierra. It looks like it reacquired the Sierra, but it was sinking too fast, so it missed. The torpedo looks like it's going into a circle at the moment to track. You can see that in the bottom left-hand corner down here on the map. The yellow icons are hostile torpedoes. And... Shit, the torpedoes acquired me. Come on. Second torpedo is still in a search pattern. Yes, it has acquired me. Alright. Bring it around. Alright, full ballast to the surface and we're full left hand rudder. Full, uh, uh, full elevators. We're going up as hard as we can in the tightest circle. Starting to cavitate, but at this point that doesn't matter, and decoy away. Alright, now I don't want to hit the ice sheet, so we start a dive immediately. Alright, the other one is still in a search pattern, it didn't acquire anyone, it's coming back. Turn hard left over the top of it, hopefully it won't acquire us. Bloody persistent Soviet torpedoes. Oh, beautiful. It's acquired the hull of Sierra 1 on the bottom. So providing we stay quiet right now... It's just our decoy still pinging away there. Yep, it's got a solid lock on Sierra 1's hull, and one into the corpse. The wrecks of hostile submarines, the best chaff in the universe. Okay, so that is one hostile submarine down. Now this mission throws you in the deep end in a hurry. Uh, this mission in game is known as Hunting the Red Bear, I believe. It's the final of the single missions you can do outside of the uh, outside of the campaign. It's supposed to be one of the most difficult, so we'll see exactly how that goes. We just got an active ping. Okay, so we have two additional contacts here. That ping looks like it's coming from uh, uh, Sonar Contact 2, which I suspect is the Typhoon. Sonar Contact 3 and 4 are close. No, that's alright, it's not another torpedo. That's the torpedo from before I lost it as I was moving around the wreck. It's still actively looking for targets, so hopefully it won't latch onto us. So what I'm doing here in the bottom right hand corner, the screen at the bottom that looks like it's scrolling, that is the current active sonar signature that I'm getting from sonar reading 2. The screen to the top is a, a record of all the recorded submarine or surface ship Soviet vessels in general, the uh, sonar readings. and. The one we have on record matches the Typhoon, so that is in fact the Typhoon. I thought it would be. Now you'll see that uh, S3 and S4 are both dull at the moment. That was our last reported contact area from them. 
we don't have any acquisition on either of those targets at this time. So I don't know where they are, just that they're both still pinging away. So I'm going to keep very quiet. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue turning left here. I'm going to move towards Sonar 3. But I'm going to try and stay relatively close to the hull of Sierra 1. And hopefully Sierra 1 will mask some of my sonar signature, potentially protecting me from detection from uh, sonar contact 4. Let me close distance a little. I'm going to have to stay in silent running, but so that will take a little bit of time. But that's alright, as that's why I run editing software for things such as this. I also want to get away from the open water. I suspect that explosion that happened up near the ice during the engagement with Sierra 1 was the Typhoon launching uh, missile torpedoes. I forget the exact designation for them, but it is a missile that delivers a torpedo to the target zone active. Typhoon will be equipped with those, and I suspect it fired one, but because I was under the ice sheet it detonated on the surface. Currently I'm under open water though, so if it drops one on my head, it's going to go in. And there is Sonar Contact 3. We now have an active sensor reading from it. Let's find out what you... No, it's not a Victor, it's not quite in line. As you can see how this works, the bottom reading gives you a signal. The left hand side is generally stronger and as the signal leads to the right, it's not a Charlie. Um, it slowly fades out, and the idea is to try and line the lines up. If you can find the appropriate set of lines that match the signal below, that is the designation of your submarine. Now we've only just picked him up, so I doubt he's going to be able to see me at the moment, so I have enough time to go through and make sure we get him right. And you've got to look very closely, because the lines can be out by just a few pixels, and it's the difference between one submarine and another. It's a Sierra. It's another Sierra. As I said at the start, there was only a handful of these things built, so two of them here. I think there's only four or five total. So we have two on site. I'm going to have to wipe out at least half, or close to half, of the Sierras ever built in this mission. Cool. We've got a pretty good reading on him here. Now on the left hand side of the screen above the map you can see three boxes. The box on the far left hand side is information on my submarine. So you can see my current heading, my speed which is 5 knots, my depth at 827 feet, and the angle of deflection on my rudder, my planes, or my elevator, and my current, uh, my dive tanks, my ballast tanks, which is all currently set at zero. I'm just heading straight ahead. The second box is in relation to Sonar Contact 3 Sierra, Sierra 3. I only have 34% of a firing solution at this point. And the third box is weapons data, which I have nothing on at this point. Now it looks like Sierra 3 is at about 400 feet according to the current condition screen. It is worth keeping in mind, however, that that won't always be accurate. My depth will be, but the depth to the submarine may not be. This simulation does some interesting stuff. Normally in a sim, having a third person view would be a cheat, but that's not the case here. The simulation, well, simulates everything. It's noise propagation, everything. What you see from the third person camera view and what shows up in your screens may not be entirely accurate. For example, you can see at the moment on the map where Sierra 3 should be. 
we can see it's at 400 feet, but you'll notice on the third person camera, even though I'm looking directly at where it should be, there is no submarine visible. That is because we don't have 100% of a solution. We've got a rough idea where Sierra 3 is, but we're only 32% sure. Since we're not 100%, Sierra 3 will not appear in the third person camera view at all, and won't spawn in or be rendered until we hit 100%. Likewise, the information in both the map screen and on the condition screen could rapidly change depending on what Sierra 3 does. If we were to suddenly go active sonar right now, we would likely get Sierra 3's exact location and a 100% firing solution on her, but she may jump in depth or change depth and she may move position on the map before she's rendered in, because what we're hearing right now may not be exactly where she is. And likewise, she's suffering the same thing. She knows we're here, but can't see us at 100%. And that's a torpedo in the water, so it looks like she's taking a shot anyway. Tubes one and two away. Um, we've already broken the cable to two. Reload both tubes. I'm just going to let those fish go. I'm not going to give them any guidance anyway. I've got torpedoes to dodge. The moss is loaded. Only got a couple of those though, so I'll try not to use it. Uh, the Moss is a mobile submarine simulator. It's a torpedo that makes all the noises that you would expect from a submarine. It obviously doesn't work too well against active sensors, but it is quite effective against passive sensors. Now obviously the Soviets here are using a lot of active sensors, but the idea is to get the torpedo to track the Moss before it goes active. And torp just went active, it's diving down. There's Sierra 3, we've got 100% on her, or close enough to 100% that we can now see her. Oh, my torpedoes went wide and that was really close. Alright, decoy out. I'm going to turn hard over and try and shorten to her, she's going to make her turn back and I want to cut across her. No wait, she's going the other way. Both my torps went active and managed to get a solution. There's one, and my second torp's going in. Sierra 3 is already dead. It looks like Sierra 3 got a torpedo away, but it didn't track. It's just heading off into the nether. search pattern at the moment. Yeah, it's going into a search pattern. Alright, just in case it tries to turn back, I'm going to dive down and I'm going to bring my submarine across the wreck of Sierra 3 and try and use Sierra 3 as a giant noise-making countermeasure. Just in case, although it looks like it's just continuing an S pattern in order to Search for, torpe uh, search for targets in that direction. Now I'm sure there was another torpedo there, but I can't... It seems to have disappeared. Alright, tubes 1 and 2 are reloaded. We'll set those torpedoes to active. That was That's working really well. That's two Sierras down now. We'll drop another decoy, another noisemaker near the wreck of Sierra 3, just in case there is a torpedo that I'm not getting a track on at the moment. Make that wreck as noisy as it possibly can be, so it can attract any extra torpedoes that may be hunting. Consonar, contact S2, Typhoon bearing 73, contact re-established. Okay, so we have contact with the Typhoon again, that is nice. Uh, we've still got S4, and we just got a reading on S4. Uh, we're running silent for the moment. Let's see if we can... It's another Sierra. Three Sierras, Jesus. Alright, 
So I've put Sierra 4 straight to my bow. I'm trying to minimize my sonar signature to her when she pings. She's slightly higher than me, about 700 feet down. I'm not giving myself a lot of space here. And she's put torps in. Moss is away. Tube one fired, and we'll fire tube two. And then let's go. Give the moss a second. All right. Go to flank, and we're going to go left. Yeah, it looks like the torpedo has acquired the moss as primary target. So that'll let us open some range. Hostile torpedo is still tracking on the moss. Our fish look good. We just got an active ping from the torpedo and it's turning away from the moss. It looks like our torps have just acquired Sierra 4. No, it's turning away, it's heading for the moss. Come on, detonate. Won't fire tube four just yet. We'll save that. Looks like our fish are tracking well. Now, if we stay about here, we should almost be in a baffle. 60 degree arc behind Sierra four that she shouldn't be able to see. They're looking good. Oh, crap. All right, flank speed. It looks like the torpedo turned back and acquired us. Can I measure away? Oh, shit, we're too close to the bottom. We're dragging the rudder. Come on, get off the bottom. Full ballast. Uh, I've done damage. We've taken out the toad sonar array. Oh, that's going to be close. Might have just killed myself here. No, 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 no. She's going under. She's going under. Jesus. Not so close to the bottom from now on. All right, another noisemaker out the rear. Where's she turning? She's going to turn back to the right. It's going to loop back on us. All right. Um... Yes, that way. Launch another moss, and we'll continue turning to the right. Moss to the left. Hopefully. Yep, she's taking the bait. Hopefully she'll go through the moss and she'll acquire the hull of Sierra 3. On, take the bait. Uh, she's looped back, and we have a torp ahead of us as well. Dive, 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 dive. Come on. What are you going to do? All right. Hard right. And she cuts over us again. 
Right, another countermeasure away, and let's take a positive 30. Hard to left. It looks like the torpedo from the north has acquired the moss and he's chasing after it, which is fine by me. And it looks like... Yep, it looks like the other torpedoes acquired the moss as well. Both torps are on the moss now, they're following it. got a anti-ship missile loaded. I would say we're probably out of moss at this point. It looks like they're both continuing to track. Hopefully they'll track the moss and as I said hopefully they'll lock onto Sierra 3. Another countermeasure just in case. Alright, and that's Sierra 1, 3, and 4 eliminated. So at this point, I can turn. And we just lost sonar contact with both torpedoes and the moss. So I would say that they have detonated one way or another. So that's that threat dealt with. Alright, so we can keep it at flank speed now. It's time to go and chase down this damn typhoon. And the towed array is repaired. Excellent. Now, as far as I'm aware, you don't actually have to deploy the towed array. Whenever you're going at five knots, it automatically deploys and then retracts if you start going faster or start maneuvering heavily. But it doesn't seem to have an animation for it, which is a shame. I would have liked to have seen it come out back or have the option to choose to deploy it or not. So at this point, I'm gonna go sonar active so we can start trying to get a solution on Typhoon with all of her escorts eliminated. We've just got to find her now. Can't be much further ahead. All right, we just got an active reading. She's near the surface. Looks like she's going for the thermal layer. All right, so let's start taking her up. ballast as well. I'm going to let her escape above that thermal layer and disappear on us. It's starting to cavitate. At this point I'm not really caring. I'm not exactly going out of my way to be silent about this anymore. Go. Oh, we've got icebergs ahead. Come on, where are you? Should be on my... There she is. What the hell is she doing? She's nose up. She's nose up and it looks like she's cavitating. One, tube three away. All right, I'm just gonna sit stationary here and see what she does. She looks like she's been hit in the ass end and she's sinking. Oh, I reckon that's exactly what's happened. We had a bunch of rogue torpedoes come out of the Sierra, uh, the Sierras as I was killing them, that just went off into the depths. 
are searching for targets. I reckon one of them's actually acquired Typhoon, tracked in on her and talked her in the ass. I reckon she's been shot in the ass by one of her own escorts after I've killed them. Just gonna ride in on Torpedo 1 at the moment, so I can take manual control if necessary. I don't want these coming back on me. It does look like she's sinking. Okay. Yep, she has been. Bottom right near where the engines are. You can see the hole from the torpedo impact. Uh, so we'll just manually guide this one into our midships. And there she goes. Now I'll take control of... There it is. Torp 2, which is turning back. No, you go the direction I want you to go in. Now, this is the first time I've taken control of these torpedoes. Obviously, they are wire-guided. You can't have radio control uh, underwater, so you've got to be fairly careful with these. If the cable breaks and she's that torp's pointing back in my direction... Come on, turn in. Shit, I'm just doing spirals. All right, I'm going to have to open up and turn it back. Um, yeah, obviously, if the cable breaks and the torpedo is pointing back in my direction, the torpedo will go active and it will acquire me. All right, should be enough space. Um, this, since this is an active torpedo, I want to detonate it on the hull so I don't have to worry about it potentially torping myself. Put that straight into the bow. There we go. Oh, she's going down fast now. And that's Typhoon eliminated. That is brilliant. One of the rogue torps from the Sierras locked onto her and torpedoed her and prevented her from running away. <laughs> I couldn't set that up any better if I planned it. That, ladies and gents, of course, leads us to the end of this mission, the USS Far Canal, SSN-744. Mission complete. One Typhoon sunk and three Sierra attack submarines also sunk. I did take a little bit of damage to the rudder, mostly due to my own stupidity. That was actually kind of embarrassing, dragging the thing's ass across the ground. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more cold waters, and until next time, that like button subscribe if you want to see more and as always dive smart dive safe and i'll catch you in the depths